how much money overall do you plan to commit to acquisitions? Uh, for instance, we uh, we aim to 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 achieve a six to eight percent growth of our earning per share. Uh, one of the engine of uh, of this growth will definitely be uh, the asset management. The earnings coming from the asset management will grow by uh, fifteen to twenty uh, to twenty percent. We will also grow the earnings coming from uh, uh, our high potential markets in Asia and Latin America by uh, fifteen to twenty. 25%, and we will also capture significant uh, growth opportunities in Europe, which is our uh, main market, our core market, where we are the, the leader. So where do you see the biggest concern and the biggest opportunities? You kind of broke it down there country by country. Do you worry about, do you worry about a slowdown in world growth, and how does that impact generally? We have a, a very diversified uh, footprint, a very diversified uh, business. Uh, we are uh, performing in every single market where we are. As you know, we uh, spend a lot of time and energy in the past two plans to, to build strong business uh, everywhere. Uh, so, and, and in the next plan, we are going to increase, to further increase the diversification of our business. As I already mentioned, we're going to build another a pillar of business which will be the asset management business so at the end uh, thanks to this plan not only we are growing but we are also decreasing the risk level of our group and our earnings will be more and more sustainable they will be growing and more and more sustainable the dividends will be more and more uh, sustainable and growing uh, growing uh, as well and I think that we are uh, less and less uh, relying on the on the macroeconomics for the asset management would you consider a big acquisition or do you want to grow organically We will first uh, grow organically. We will, uh, uh, thanks to our uh, multi-boutique uh, platform, which we are building successfully, we already uh, build uh, a boutique dedicated to uh, infrastructure debt uh, assets. We built uh, uh, another boutique aperture in the US with a very innovative uh, uh, fees uh, business uh, model. Uh, and thanks to uh, this multi-boutique platform, the third-party asset will grow from 6% to 35% of the total uh, assets under management. So this is organic growth. On top of this, we can consider acquisition if it's appropriate. As you know, we also acquired recently an asset management company in France, Sycomore, uh, specialized in ESG and SRI uh, investments and if uh, it fits with our strategy and uh, uh, according to our financial discipline we could also consider acquisition but our play our plan is not based on acquisition and we will achieve our ambitious targets in terms of growth of the earnings as a group and for the asset management without acquisition uh, Monsieur Donnet, I know Generali has reduced the share of Italian sovereign bet debt that you hold in the overall holdings. Will you further reduce that exposure? Sorry, Francine, I, I didn't get the, the question. Yeah, I was, I, I was asking about sovereign debt in Italy. W will you sell some of sovereign debt, Italian sovereign debt off because of the concerns politically that you see in Italy? No, Italy is uh, not a real concern for the for the Generali Group. Obviously, we are looking as uh, anyone else at, at the situation. But once again, we are a very diversified uh, group. Uh, we are growing in Italy, where our business is extremely uh, profitable and growing. We are also growing, uh, and we will be accelerating the growth out of Italy. As I said, we're going to further increase the diversification of our group. The, the fundamental 
fundamentals in Italy remain very positive. There are very good uh, SMEs in Italy uh, which are growing, which are exporting, and uh, we have a 35% market share uh, in those uh, Italian uh, SMEs. Uh, so, having said that, uh, when you look at our sensi sensitivity analysis for our capital, we are very resilient. Uh, we uh, our solvency ratio can absorb significant uh, shocks on, uh, on the Italian spread. Uh, before volatility adjustment, 100 basis points of uh, more Italian spreads are worth uh, tw 12 points uh, less of solvency ratio. But as you know, our solvency ratio is extremely com comfortable. Mm -hmm. So we can definitely uh, absorb uh, short-term shocks if, if they come. Uh, Philippe Donnet, a final question. What do you think the discount on your share price is because you're Italian? Because the company is Italian. No, it's very difficult to, 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 to comment. Uh, I think that uh, more and more everybody understands how much we are diversified, how much we are decreasing the risk of our group, how much we are also building a new uh, pillar of our business, which is the, the asset management. So at the end, earnings will be growing at a significant pace. They will be very uh, sustainable and uh, they, they will be uh, achieved through a less risky business model.